Hi everyone, welcome back to another scrapbook layout um, video. What I'm showing you here is a layout that another person did and I apologize at this point in time, I do not know who this was. And the reason for that is, so let me explain this video. And I've done videos like this in the past, so maybe some of you might know what I'm talking about, but if you're newer, um, maybe this will help. I am part of the Scrapbook Nerd Friends Group uh, it's a group on Facebook. If you'd like to go check them out, please do. They're not sponsoring this video or anything like that. I just really enjoy this challenge that they have. So I think they call this a layout hop video, perhaps, and um, not video. Sorry, let me say that again. I think they call it a scrapbook hop or I don't know what the name of it is. Doesn't matter. What it is, is they get a group of people. You can sign up. You just say, I'm in, you know, I want to do it. And what they start with is a sketch. They'll start with a sketch and they send the sketch to the first person. And then that first person will make a layout based off of that sketch. It could be anything, whatever they interpret from it. And then they will take that person's layout instead of the sketch and they will send the layout to the next person. And the next person makes a layout from what they're inspired by from the first person's layout and then the next layout moves on and then the next layout moves on and so I hope that makes sense so by the time it got to me I do not know at this point I have not seen they're not finished with it um, it's still going around which is why I don't know who did the layout that I showed you but it goes from person to person to person and by the time you get to the very end it's really neat to see how this it went from this sketch with maybe like 15 photos on it to maybe a sketch with three photos and you know I mean it's just crazy it's really it's a lot of fun to join in on too so I was taking the inspiration I take inspiration from quite a few different places um, on from this layout for my video first of all it was Finding Nemo and I don't have any Finding Nemo pictures, but I do have some other Disney pictures um, This one obviously being Tinkerbell. So I thought I would go ahead and do this This is a little tiny mini kit. I've had put together for a while Some of this stuff is from Queen and Company the border sticker that I'm going to use here in a minute um, This one here, which it's old and you're gonna see me completely struggle with this border sticker It didn't want to come off. It was ripping I actually had to turn my camera off and to figure out how to get this taken apart but um, so this is a queen and company and it's all kinds of I showed some of the paper companies that I'm using in the beginning so I was originally another thing I was going to take from the layout that I'm going off of for inspiration I was going to take the fact that she had like three different strips of paper going along her back I think it was like blue and then a striped and then a different color along the bottom and so I wanted to do that and I was thinking perhaps the pink but when I tried the pink it really just kind of I don't know I, I wasn't that crazy about it and I looked at the pictures and there was no pink in the pictures and I thought you know I'm just gonna not add the pink in well I didn't think about all the other elements that I was going to be using and I do in the end wish that I would have added more pink in but that's okay this is a layout that I'm gonna say I like it it's okay I think it's cute and it's scrapbooked and it, it is what it is but it's not one of my favorites so I and we all have those right we all have those layouts that aren't perfect but we still like them and they're scrapbooked and it's done I won't go back and redo this by any means so instead of having a third pattern paper going across the background I decided to use this border strip kind of as the representation of that third pattern paper so I went ahead and did that and I also had that green glitter paper in with this kit um, this whole time and I cut little tiny they're not even maybe an eighth of an inch wide um, I went ahead and just put a strip on the top of the border and the bottom border strip and you can see that there now I'm going to mount my photo so this is another thing I'm somewhat taking inspiration from so the layout that I'm copying had one four by six photo but instead of one four by six I actually had four photos four of these um, photos of me with Tinkerbell but I decided to go ahead and just use the two and cut them to three by four and put them together like a four by six photo so that kind of still picks up on the whole vertical four by six photo that I'm that was on the other layout but also um, 
there's two photos there and I didn't need, they were all basically the same photo. It's, you know, we get the photo pass when we go to Disneyland and it's so worth it. So they take a bunch of pictures for you. And so I had plenty to choose from, but the other thing from the first layout that I'm taking inspiration from was there was a bunch of layers under her photo. So I decided to mount my photo with a couple different card stocks, or this is a pattern paper. This is actually a petite prints from doodle bug. Um, I pulled this out. This was not in the kit, but looking at the Tinkerbell sticker up in the top left-hand corner, I really wanted to use that. So the blue that I mounted the photo on just now was matched the Tinkerbell photo, like her wings, a little bit better than the dark blue I had originally thought I was going to use. So now I decided I, this is part of one of the things I wish maybe I didn't do. I'm, I can't tell. I, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's either you're going to like it or you're not, but I ended up gluing this photo to this piece of glitter cardstock. First of all, just to use it up a little bit more, right? And I thought that I really liked it. Um, I'm not that crazy about it in the end, but I, like I said, I wish I would have added more pink. And so either way, like I said, it is what it is and I'm glad that I did it. So I'm just getting out my perfect layer rulers and I do have a link below for those if you want to purchase some of these. They do have both the short ones, the six inch ones and the 12 inch ones. So um, if you want the bigger ones, feel free there. You can follow the link and probably find the same thing there. Um, I just find it more convenient to use the small ones just because I can keep them a little closer. So at this point, I didn't mind the layout at all. So the other thing with that layout that I'm taking inspiration from, she had like Nemo fish and different things that represented Nemo all around the page. And one was kind of to the right of the photo. So I thought I would go ahead and do that as well. Now this pattern paper, I believe I probably got from Joann's. Joann's has a lot of these type of Disney papers and elements. As, um, same with these rub-ons that I'm going to use later, these rub-ons right here. Um, I'm looking for a title right now. And originally I was going to do Tinkerbell, but I was just kind of looking, hoping that that first pattern paper would have a box that I could cut one from, but nothing was going to work. And so I'm trying these rub-ons and they're so old, but yay, they worked. I'm so excited. You're, you're going to see me give a thumbs up here in just a minute. I'm going to start to peel this off. It comes out and I'm like, yay, it worked. <laughs> Cause you never know what you'll get with rub-ons, right? So I went ahead and I did that and I cut this out. Um, so this says never grow up. And that's the reason that I chose this rub-on was because I wanted this to be my title because I feel like I'm in the picture with Tinkerbell and, you know, I'm older. I'm not a young kid, but hey, I'm, I got my picture with this, anybody I saw. Um, I love going to Disneyland and getting pictures with the characters, you know, and I don't ever have to grow up there in Disneyland, right? Because that's what Disneyland is for. So I decided to do that. And then... Another thing she had on her layout that I'm taking inspiration from, she had a tag. Uh, and I decided to take one of my dies. This is a very old die. I want to say it's a Tim Holtz one. Very, very, very old. But I don't know. It just makes a bunch of different tags. It has a little hole maker part too, but I didn't worry about that. I figured I'd just use a hole punch. So I decided to put a tag here. And her layout also had a big block with the title on it. And so I was trying to go with that, but I think I, I just, I tried the layout or the title down here at the bottom, but it was so small and it just, I think it was that stark white cardstock that it was on, but I didn't want to just, tr first of all, I didn't want to try the rub on, on the layout and have it not work. Right. Um, and so then I thought, okay, I'll fussy cut it. So I did cut, I did turn the camera off for me to fussy cut and I just trimmed around that title. There's a little bit of a white border, but it's okay. It's not nearly as stark white now as it was. And then I'm putting some foam tape behind this uh, Tinkerbell gal. And I really liked her there, but I couldn't get her to work there and the tag to work. And I wanted, I don't know, I just, I just wasn't feeling it with this layout. I mean, how many of you guys, thumbs up if you guys have those layouts where you just try and everything you try doesn't really work. Um, I do think I even stepped away from this. I think I had to cook dinner anyway, so I stepped away from it and I just, ah, I couldn't get anything to work and I, you know, I wanted to 
when you do this layout hop, you don't have to make yours look exactly like the person's before you, but I really kind of liked her elements of Nemo all around, and so I wanted to have, there was also, I wanted to add more of the Tinkerbells around. Um, you can see the Revon sheet there. I was originally thinking perhaps I would put the Tinkerbells, more Tinkerbells all around, because like I said, she had Nemo's all around. So what I decided was, I was going to put that big Tinkerbell down at the bottom since it was such a big, heavy element, and I liked that better immediately. Um, and now I, I'm just trying to play around. I'm still going to use the tag. Um, I took the flower off that sheet because I really liked that flower. Um, you can see it adds more pink into the layout, but I am okay with that. And then I decided this whole time I've been trying to put my photo down kind of a little wonky, you know, crooked. Then I just decided, you know what, I'm going to try see what it looks like straight. And I actually ended up liking that a little better as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue this flower down to this tag because I just, I kind of like the way it looked. Um, I'm picking up that leaf on the left so it will kind of gently or just slightly go over the photos just a tiny, tiny bit um, just to give a little bit of added interest. And then the Never Grow Up my title is actually going to end up here on the left hand side. Uh, it to me is so small for a title. I've done small titles before, but I don't know. I, I just wasn't crazy about it. And I'm kind of wondering still if it's not because it was on the white, but um, it, it, it works out, <laughs> right? Just got to bear with me on this one. So I have the clusters down, the two. I have the Tinkerbell at the bottom, and then I have the tag with the flower cluster. And looking around, I really wanted to use this um, other rub-on. Well, I wanted to use up a lot of these rub-ons, actually. And they have these little beautiful flowers and butterflies you can see on the left-hand side. For some reason, I have two sheets of this. I don't know. I must have got one off a free table or something. I, I don't know how I ended up with two unless I bought one thinking I didn't have one or didn't know I had one but this one said tink and it's not like I felt like I needed to have a title of tinkerbell on there um but hey it worked it was blue it brought down the blue from the tag over to that side even though her wings are blue so I went ahead and I tried it there and it actually looked really good it's kind of it's harder to see in the video than it is in person but it works so I also had these little flowers, and these are also a Queen & Company item. Uh, I had these in with the kit that I had made up for this Tinkerbell page. Everything that I'm using on this page was from this little mini kit that I had made years ago. Um, I think the only thing that wasn't was the blue paper that I cut not only... The, did I cut? From? No, I think the blue paper I cut the tag from was in this kit because the other side was like a dark green for Neverland or something like that. And then as well as the blue paper that I mounted my photo on that you can barely see. So this little pink rub on, I felt like I needed to bring a little bit of pink to the top. And this is kind of where I wish I would have added a little more pink, but it works out. And one thing I really like about this layout though the top part, you can see where the green pattern paper has those white sparkly thing. It goes all across the page, but it kind of looks like those butterflies and stuff are, are leaving that pixie. I guess it's pixie dust, right? It's supposed to be pixie dust. So right below where my hand just was, um, all those white like pixie dust marks along the side there. I really like those. Um, I feel like those go really well with the bright white stars on the bottom. So um, I'm just gluing down now my these flowers by Queen & Company. They are self-adhesive, but I have found that all Queen & Company bling will not stay stuck for very long. So I always, I usually take off their self-adhesive things and add my own. Um, I did pull out some gems that were green. I thought that they would look really good and I was going to sprinkle those around, but then I realized I had butterflies up in the top corner as well as a flower up there, which I ended up covering up with another flower. And I wanted to add some more of these rub-ons around just to kind of add a little more in the cluster areas. So I'm just going to cut out a few of the different rub-ons. And I'm again, I'm pretty amazed that these rub-ons worked so well. I wanted to add at least one flower. I was trying for one flower and one butterfly in each cluster area, but I don't think, did I find a spot for this butterfly? I can't remember. It's been a couple weeks since I did this layout. So um, 
I really wanted a butterfly in each cluster area because I was thinking that, you know, brings on the three that brings the clusters around. But I think that I ended up realizing I have enough other stuff in each cluster to to be able to, you know, go for the three clusters. So I think I ended up not worrying about that butterfly or having a butterfly in that cluster by the tag. Um, before I finish the layout, I am going to add some string and the hole was not small enough or not big enough. So I'm just gonna try attempt with my little pokey tool to make it a little bigger, but it ends up, um, it just wasn't gonna work and I was gonna probably make a mess. So then I make this giant hole, which I don't really like as well, but oh well. It, one thing, um, when I tie this string and I cut it short, I kind of flip it around and you can see how they kind of flipped. I love the way that they kind of flipped. I don't know, it kind of just went with the whole flowiness of the pixie dust and everything. So I'm gonna take a minute, and I don't always do this, but I'm actually going to just put little teeny lines of glue along some of the parts of these strings. And so these strings will stay in the position that they are now. I just really liked how they filled in that entire area to the left of the photo. So. This is pretty much going to be my layout. I'm going to add a couple gems onto Tinkerbell's little puff balls on her shoes. And again, there's not going to be any still shot photos in the end. I apologize. I'm working with my computer. It's just driving me crats. It's a crutch. It's driving me crazy. So thanks so much for watching and look into the joining the Facebook group. And I hope you guys have a nice day. See you next time.